Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to read Excel file in Oracle integration. Coming to the approach, we have to create an integration, scheduled integration or invoked by some HTTP request. Once the OIC integration gets triggered, first job is we have to get the Excel file. Excel file we can pull from FTP server, SFTP server, object storage or even from the request at the time of invocation. And the step number two is we have to read the Excel file and convert to required format that is XML, JSON, CSV. So for this conversion, we are making use of OCI function. Once the data has been converted to required format, we have to proceed with other operations. There is only two steps involved in reading a Excel file. One is to get the file from source and send to OCI function and convert to required format. In our case, we are getting the file from SFTP server and converting to JSON format. I have put the screenshot of my integration which I have created. We will go to the integration code action by action and we will discuss in details each and every configuration which has been done over these actions. As per the approach, I have exposed my integration over REST protocol. So once a request is received by this integration, we are getting the file from SFTP. It's rather downloading the file to our OIC virtual directory. So once the file has been downloaded, it will send that file in base 64 format to our OCI function. This function will return data in JSON and will display. In our case, we will just display the response received from our function that is in JSON. I am here in the Oracle Cloud Infra under functions Python app which we had created in our previous video wherein uh, we had deployed this Python first function. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. Uh, I have deployed the new function that is parse excel file function. Today we are going to make use of this function and read the excel file. I have created the integration excel file read int. We will test this first then we will go to code. In the request I am passing the file name and the directory. This directory is nothing but our sftp. As you can see over here I am this upload test object storage. This is the same space which we had used in our earlier videos wherein we had uploaded this two files to object storage. This time we are placing those two excel files. One is XLSX, one is other one is XLS. So if I show you the contents of this student XLSX file first. So I'm having two tabs, tab 001 and tab 002 uh, with the student name and the marks. Okay. So we are going to uh, transform this to sheet data into JSON format. For that first I have to pass the file name as it is in our uh, SFTP server and the directory. So I'm clicking on this test button. So no errors. I will copy this to notepad. So this status and the status re description are from the function. This I will show you how I have done that. Coming to workbook element. So this is an array. Okay, There are two arrays. So the first one, uh, let me go through. That's the sheet name. So what I have done is I am appending the Excel file name that is student underscore XLSX and the sheet name that is tab 001 and tab 002. So now in tab 001, if you see we are having four students. One is Rajveer whose mark is 89, Hamid whose mark is 88, Umar whose mark is 92 and Mark whose mark is 98. So these are the data in tab 001. So let me minimize this tab. Let me open tab 002. Now let's go to tab 2. Here we are having four students. So these are the first row is nothing but this row wherein it is the student name and the marks header values it is showing. So first student is Ravi whose mark is 98. Second is Adam whose mark is 88. Third is Asif whose mark is 93. And uh, fourth one is John whose mark is 94. So like this we have read the Excel SX file. Similarly we can read Excel S file as well. I am giving the student underscore XLS dot XLSX. Uh, this is the same file which we have placed in a SFTP server. Clicking on, I am clicking on this test button. Yeah done. Let me copy this. Remove, copy paste, format. I have opened the XLS file. Here the content is same like what we had seen in our Excel SX file. Only difference is the file format. This is the .xls and that one is was .xlsx. So both the type of file we are converting uh, it over here. So here also same uh, case applies. Uh, the sheet name is nothing but the file name that is student underscore XLS and the sheet name that is tab 001 as you can see over here tab 00 and tab 002. So we are having four students in sheet one that is Rajiv, Hamid, Umar and Mark and sheet two we are having uh, four students that is Ravi, Adam, Asif and John. So like this we can read 
Excel data in OIC with the help of functions uh, very quickly and efficiently. Uh, coming to the code, uh, I'm having uh, two requirements uh, over here in the requirements.txt file. One is the FDK that is a default and I'm making use of this Excel RD that is to read the Excel files. Coming to functions, uh, this is the basic uh, boilerplate code uh, which we generate by writing the comma fn in it. So this is the same thing, only thing is I'm modifying this JSON uh, data wherein I'm uh, customizing this uh, JSON data to send the file, file name and the base 64 content. Uh, this code is having the capability to read the CSV file as well, but that is not the scope of this video. Uh, here we are just concentrating on .xls files, that is the Excel files. So if the, uh, in the request I'm passing the file name, if the file name is uh, .xlss or that uh, .xlsx, uh, uh, then it will route to our implementation function which we have written or the method. I am going to this function over here. This this is basically use, making use of this uh, XLRD. First it will decode uh, base 64 to uh, binary and it will open the uh, workbook in .xlrd. So this logging is it's not required if you are going with the OCI logs. Uh, in my case I am going with OCI logs over here. Uh, this I have put because uh, I was just debugging uh, my code with the uh, Visual Studio code. So I wanted to know if something goes wrong, the exact uh, root cause for that. We can ignore this logging. So this will uh, read the workbook sheet by sheet. It will iterate over the sheets like in uh, we are having two sheets. If you have one, it will uh, iterate only once. If you have multiple, it will iterate over all the sheets one by one. Basically, it will go through each and every row and fetch the column data. So you can, uh, for more details, you can go through this XLRD documentation. Once uh, all the data has been read, I'm just converting it into a, a JSON format uh, with the help of arrays and dictionaries. And I'm returning back the control to my function.py. Uh, here, uh, if any error occurs, then it will send the exact root cause or to the service caller back. If no error, then uh, we are sending the JSON transform data. Okay, like uh, what you see in else over here, it is uh, function ID we are passing uh, the, uh, and the caller ID. Uh, this caller ID is nothing but every function invocation will have a, a instance ID like how we have in OIC uh, like that function will have its own uh, unique uh, identification number with the help of which we can track over here in the logging uh, by clicking on this invoke. Uh, like this you can see uh, these are the uh, function invocation IDs. Okay, other files and uh, this is for uh, transforming the exception. I have written this method over here. And uh, there is this util function that it will uh, transform the data uh, canonical manner. That is, uh, it will send the function ID, status, status description, and the workbook. Okay, and will uh, send the generalized uh, uh, response every time in case of error or in case of uh, successful uh, transformation. So uh, this is pretty much simple uh, use case wherein uh, we are making use of OCI function and reading the Excel file. Coming to integration, uh, as I told, uh, uh, we are just sending uh, in the request the file name and the this FTP directory from where we have to download the file. So as you can see, I'm just downloading, uh, making use of this operation download file and downloading into a slash download directory in our virtual space. And then sending the details uh, to my function. If I show you the request, uh, here I'm just transforming uh, my file reference, what I got from the SFTP server uh, to a, a base 64 that is by using encode reference to base 64 and sending this function invocation URL. Now coming to the function invocation request, it will accept the file name and the base64 content. Okay. The same will be uh, con uh, fetched over here, the file name and the base64 what we send over here. Okay. And in response, uh, we'll get the JSON data, like uh, sheet name, row, like marks and the student name. So hence, uh, like this, we can make use of the function and uh, Oracle integration combination and uh, read the Excel files so very quickly. Thank you for joining us in this video.